Samuel Atatia is joining us back on, on Zoom. I lost him briefly. Can you hear me, Zatatia? Yes, I can hear clearly. Great. I'm just I, great. I'm just hearing your colleague, Honorable Katie uh -huh. Hammond, saying that your uh -huh. next step as, as a caucus is to cite the speaker for contempt. Is it one that all of you are aligned with that you're going to do? Yes. And on and on, on what basis? What exactly has the speaker done that you are citing him for contempt? Uh, I'm sorry. Then I we, to we, the yes we, wasn't no, the contempt. We, we, no, he wasn't. He was saying yes to something. I'm not sure about that. Uh -huh. uh, I, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I see that. Well, well uh, that's... you see, without any education in law, any education in law, is that a problem? No, I can hear Hello? you. I, I can hear you now. So, sorry, we lost him. You, you can't. Yeah. I, I can hear you. So I asked the question, I asked the question whether the decision to cite the yes. speaker for contempt is one that all of you are aligned with. Is yes. Going... I, I, I'm... <laughs> what is going on? Because I'm traveling. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. So uh, I apologize for this, and uh, that's, that's a not too clear connection to him. As he indicated, he is actually on the move, Please. and he is uh, traveling. We'll, we'll connect with him through other means and see if we get established and more stable connection to Samuel Atachia. Um, so we're working on that. We'll try to get him on, 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 on the telephone. He's joining us on Zoom, but there's a little connection issue, so we'll get him on the telephone. Uh, I, I just wanted to quickly get on that basis of contempt that KT Hammond said. It's going to be the see, next step but, but, of the majority. The question is, that's the, the NPP caucus in this, in this parliament. Alfred, but the question is, what has Mr. Speaker done for which anyone would want to cite That's why I asked that for question. Contempt. I think you, you, it will one, be for the MPP one, to ask. One, on the 22nd of October, the House met. The only reason the House was against in ADA was that we did not have numbers to take decision. And one side was not in the chamber. So if you are not in the chamber, how do you expect, Mr. Speaker, to, to effect the orders if you so claim? On the 7th, again, you had no business before him. Because it is the business that will give the order of things. Mm -hmm. It is the business that the business committee brings that will say that, oh, maybe roll call, national pledge, message from the president, mm -hmm. then formal communication by the speaker. Then we go to correction of votes. We did not have this business before the house. Mm -hmm. So the speaker only did one thing. The prayer was said, and then based on what was before, because there was no business, he had to have adjourn the house senior indefinitely. So how then yeah. do you do you cite the speaker well, for well, 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 Relax, uh, I told uh, you that it's a ruse. You see, they, uh, now you see, they are making you spend all your time answering that question so that, that you that forget that they don't have numbers. numbers. So you hear they Katie just Amon have say that the the effect of the supreme court's decision on the speaker's application mm -hmm. was that the status ante should mm -hmm. be reverted to mm -hmm. as in they now becoming majority, majority. yes in his position that yes. was not done or adhered to yes. so to that extent they're going to cite the speaker for contempt <laughs> you see i'm laughing you what know that? I, the, you know is uh, that's what they say it's, it's a democracy Right, so there is freedom of what? Opinions, so everybody can say what they like, all right? So that's the way I understand it. So to that extent, I don't want to say anything negative about what he said. But obviously, it's a joke. That's, that, I mean, that's not serious. You heard what Honorable Kofi Adam said. I mean, when I heard it, I told you that, look, look, let's stay focused. If not, this, all these red herrings will be thrown in to divert attention. The problem at hand right now is that they cannot marshal enough MPP members into parliament to conduct business. That is a problem. And that is it. 
So any other thing they say is just a way of diverting attention. That's it. Okay. That's just it. So, Mr. Okansi, remember I made a point earlier. L you think if they had enough numbers, they would not have come in. They would have, and they could have stood and conducted the business. Well, the, one of, at least, one of the MPP MPs who came in is Samuel Atachia. Uh, can you hear me now? I can hear you, sir. Well, even though your, your colleagues were not in the house on Thursday, you were seen in the chamber, uh, in, interacted with the NDC MPs, and then you left. This is that you didn't get the information about the caucus meeting earlier? I didn't, I, I didn't get it earlier. And mm -hmm. I also thought that probably I'll be late. So mm -hmm. I, I rushed in there, and it's not started. And I saw the NDC members of parliament define the Supreme Court order and they were firmly seated where the majority is supposed to sit. But you know, we have the commandery, so we just enjoyed um, each other's company. And I left. So if you say that they defied the Supreme Court order and were sitting where you were supposed to sit, what, what, was the yes. e what was the effect of the Supreme Court's decision on the speaker's application? Was it that the NDC will become minority and you become majority? That is so. Why it's so that? clear that it beats, it beats my imagination that anybody is pretending not to understand uh, what the Supreme Court handed down. The Supreme Court said, let's go back to the status quo ante. What was the status quo ante? Uh, we are the majority and they are the minority. And let the case be determined. When the case is determined, we know the final decision of the Supreme Court. So uh, it's, it beats my imagination why anybody is trying to pretend that you can go and sit where the majority is sitting and, and I will say that I believe in the rule of law. That is utter lawlessness. You see, somebody is talking about the father is the joke that they might want to cite in their body for contempt. Why should we go to that length? It's a pathetic juvenile power play. But uh, that uh, the higher... What, yeah. what, what's, what's the basis for the <coughs> contempt application or con contempt consideration that you want to now go on as uh, the MPP caucus? I am not aware of the decision of the MPP to go for contempt and cite the speaker for contempt. I'm not aware. Well, somebody the, say fine. I think but there is a basis. There is a basis. Everybody who understands what the law is will know. When we defy the orders of a court of competent jurisdiction, that defiance constitutes a contumacious behavior, which is punishable. What is even worse, if you pay regard to the very constitution which gave the speaker his space to sit where he's seated. This is one of the high crimes that an order of the Supreme Court giving directions to matters are defied. That is more than even contempt. They call it high crime. So people should not sit in your studio Hello, Mr. Chacha. Uh, we would we would reconnect, and um, the question now still remains as to how Parliament was supposed to. Y yes. Ah. Sorry. Yes, I lost you briefly, but if Hello? you if you I, I can I can hear you now. But if you say that Parliament defied, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, 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 I lost. I lost. I lost some more touch in, in a bit, but. <laughs> Well, he says there's, there's a basis for the contempt to the extent that the Supreme Court's decision on the Speaker's application was not complied with. To that extent, they can proceed on that path. Uh, can, I, can I just say this? Quickly, you please. You see, Parliament, from my experience, work based on procedures. And these procedures are, as a matter of fact, can even be sent to court. Parliamentary procedures can be sent by anybody to court that Parliament is not obeying the procedures. Now, when anybody, a body so authorized like the Supreme Court, gave an order, members of Parliament 
cannot be seen to be uh, applying the thing uh, hop, step, and jump. A formal communication will have to be given by the but the person that had been authorized to give such kind of information, and that okay. is the Speaker of Parliament. And it's on that point that I just, Mr. Chair, can you hear me, can you hear me now? Mr. Thatcher, can you hear me? I can hear it clearly. That Supreme Court order, how was it supposed to be carried out in the House by the Speaker? Was it that even in your absence, you were supposed to just go ahead? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello? I can hear you clearly. Yes. <coughs> Hello? Um. Listen carefully. The speaker is acutely aware of the Supreme Court. Hello? Hello? I can hear you. Hello? I, I can hear you clearly. I can hear Hello? you. Hello? I can hear you. Yeah, I'm saying that. Yes. Okay, thanks. Yes, thanks for indulging me. You see, let me make it very clear. It is a very dubious posture. But... <laughs> Cut him out. Who says he wants to respect the rule of law that is not aware of the decision of the convenience in the, in the process? If he was not served with any process, how come that uh, um, uh, uh, my good friend, when. Hello? No. Okay. No, in fact. Let's be serious about what is going on. Up, up and move the Supreme Court that the decision should be set aside and the Supreme Court has no jurisdiction. That the statute should remain and that the NDC are not qualified to say that is, will be the basis of the contest. But I don't know whether there's the decision which has been taken that the speaker should be cited to contest. Well, but I just wanted to also draw attention that it, the speaker acknowledged, well, because you were you were absent um, on the floor on Thursday, he did indeed make reference to. But today, I was asking the specific question of how the Supreme Court order was supposed to be carried out in Parliament. What was the process or what is the procedure for the, the implementation? Supreme, the Supreme Court order, you see, the Supreme Court order is clear in its terms that go and revert what you did. Let the majority sit where they sit and let the minority sit where they, 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 they sit. It's as simple as they like. And yeah. let the four, four members of uh, parliament continue with, with, with their business. That, that's, uh, that, that, clear. that's clear. I'm asking you how that was supposed to be done by parliament, in parliament. It was supposed to be... Yeah, it was supposed to be done by the speaker. The speaker is the one presiding over the, over the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if the speaker uh, will just ignore what the Supreme Court has said... The majority is that kids change the concept. That's so clear. I and I'm not. I'm not suggesting that the speaker is not of a court of competent jurisdiction. And if you say that there is a supreme mass. I say uh, uh, we would we would we reconnect for the last time and then and, and there's stay nothing with. like the speaker being an extension of the Supreme Court. Okay. At all. All right. But all. but 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 then again, could the speaker have done this? So at all. Everybody. Mr. Yeah. Judge, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Samalataja, can you hear me?
we would we would r rectify that connection but I think and I then can, can you yes it's so. he's made a point i'm going to ask him the the, mm -hmm. the last and final question mm -hmm. mr Chacha, can you hear me hello yes i can okay yeah i can hear you now great could the speaker have done hello could the speaker um, yes i, I can hear you now could the speaker have carried out this order even in yeah. your absence in your absence when the house was not properly constituted to do of business of course of course i see certainly of course the speaker should have said yes the speaker should have said please can you move to where you are supposed to stay i want to respect the constitution that say you are a christian but you don't believe in the bible mm. there's nobody above the constitution including the speaker I'm telling you that by operation of law, the office of the speaker is the creation of the constitution. It therefore becomes a very pathetic contradiction that what gave you your authority, you are disrespecting. That is sad. Mm. Okay. And then I've heard people talking about, oh, judicial tyranny. Mm. Alfred, keep him How is the judicial this tyranny in this matter? But what, 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 that, what is the... The speaker says, I will not... Mr. Sergeant, yes, what, 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 what's, the, what's the status of the four, uh, the, the three MPs on your side? What's their status now in this parliament? They are sitting members of parliament. Oh, yes, they are sitting members of parliament. On, 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 on and, whose... And, on, on, on and we're talking about those who are... On whose ticket? They are still sitting... On our MP, side, of course. Of, of MPP MPs. On the ticket of the New Patriotic Party. I see. Yes. If 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 that's the case, except the one who is independent. Yes. If that's the case, that does not does that not violate your own party's constitutional provision, specifically about the forfeiture of your membership of the party. Hello. Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hello? Can you hear me? Well, Tasha, can you hear Hello? me? Hello? Oh, I can hear you now, sir. Great. Now, uh, you are saying that can they you are... Hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. You are saying that they are still sitting members yes. of the NPP. And I was asking you that if that is the yes. case... Are they not violating the party's own constitution on the specific provision about the forfeiture of membership? Because your party's constitution is clear that a member of the party who stands as an independent candidate against the officially elected member of party or who joins or declares his or her support for another political party or for an independent candidate, when the party has sponsored a candidate in a general by-election automatically, automatically forfeits his or her membership of the party. There is no automaticity about this. And that's, that what says, party, you that's what your constitution says. That's what your party constitution says. I, I read your party listen, constitution. Listen, listen, listen. That, that is not the intent. And let me also tell you, even if that is the interpretation you want to put on it, the sun is superior to the lantern. What is the party's... That is why the political party's constitution... Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, lawyer Tatcha, we, we would rectify that connection. I, I need an answer to that question. Yes. Lawyer Matipi, quick one. Yeah, so... Um, th this matter, you see, let's understand it. You know, when we come here, there's always one thing we should repeat so that people understand. You always hear them say two lawyers. It's very often you give a provision or a law to two lawyers. They read it and they have different interpretations, different opinions. And generally in a democracy, varying diversity of opinions. So that's the uh, background. So you, you can see that obviously I don't agree with Honorable Atachi. Huh? He says there is a basis. But I would go with his other statement that he's not aware of any official decision. If there was a basis, real, real basis, there would have been a decision to go forward. It's because they know that really this case, uh, this cannot pass master. 
Mm. Uh, what contempt against speaker? It's laughable, very preposterous. Just like the way he says that juvenile yeah, what, arguments. What, what, what is this, such, saying? A, such a suggestion is preposterous. That's what we should be saying. No, what was you're going to cite the speaker for contempt. What has he done? What has he done? Now okay. let's but go. He wanted there. to make an intervention. La, La Chacha. Yes. Yes. Yes, my brother, people, mm. you should bear in mind mm. that we are in a political space mm. and we want to secure harmony. Mm. It does not want to understand of contempt. But how would you want to say that you, you, you are trying to see our time because of, excuse me to say, the, the harmony of the constitutional space? Not for want of a Excuse me to say, a right to strive for contempt. Please don't confuse the two. Nobody is interested in messing up the speaker. I have to tell you this. I do not think it is even sensible for MPP to disturb the speaker. Speaker. the Constitution. That is all that there is that we're talking about. How can any serious speaker say? that there is to mess up parliament. When I read it, I said, oh my God, this is a man that I defer to, you know, and I still defer to him. Very deep man, intelligent man. What has come over him? I don't understand it. Where is the collusion? Oh, the judiciary is good. When they lose, the judiciary is bad. I've heard people talking about the judiciary and I'm always laughing. He's now look, when uh, Justice Atukuba said, mm -hmm. the MPP uh, uh, left, Okay. I, I mean, we've not won. The judiciary was very good. When the ambulance case, I mean, was, was determined, they said, oh, um, the court of appeal, and there was two one, they said the, the chief justice, before you see the judge. Run. And when you lose, you know what to do. And, and my, my, my problem with the speaker is that, why did he send sorry to the chamber? He disrespected. If that is not the forum to adjudicate matters so that there is harmony in the realm, if he was a law unto himself, why did I mean, sorry go to the Supreme Court? For what? Yeah, really so please, 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 please. Oh, if I there see. is any problem that is going on, it is coming from the speaker. And let's, let's tell him so. Well, I don't but, see how Atatia, for the world of me, would have gone to, to sit on the speaker's chair. What will be the, what will be the, I am the speaker. I go and sit on the chair. How, how would you take it? I mean, it's going to be a big fight. And MPP, we are too wise to go and fight in the highest forum for um, uh, um, uh, legislative deliberation. You won't go there. They didn't, they, they left, the, they didn't come to the back. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I see. fight. That is what it means. Well, get out, of, get out, get out of my seat, and then it becomes war. Let's let's be decent. Let's, yeah. let's be decent and stop playing with issues as if somebody is disturbing the speaker. Okay. Disturbing the speaker. But but I I, I asked you a specific question about the status of these Step MPs. The speaker. No, 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 Mr. Tatiya. He's our speaker. Cooperation of law. You should oh. also know one important thing. Okay. Can you hear me? They, 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 I, I will tell you my understanding of what you are reading. And you are also entitled to understand. I'm saying that whatever interpretation you want to place on the constitution of a party, it can never override whatever is being read which is inconsistent with... Uh, so, so, so you take the position that the constitution of the NPP is inconsistent. Now it's inconsistent with the constitution of Ghana. I see. What is the constitution saying? They are talking about the election. Go and read Article 97. Well, no. And, and so there was the, I, I know. I know the details of the article you are quoting. I make reference to the article point nine, page have, sixteen of that, your party's that, constitution. Those are two different things. Why, why don't you find the 
constitution, no matter the spin you want to put on it, can never override the provisions in Article 97 okay. of Mr. Ghana's Chacha, constitution. Mr. Chacha, this is not a spin. I, I, it, I, I just read, yeah. I just read the constitution of your party to you. It's not a spin. That that is it's, not my understanding of it. Uh, you are, yeah, okay. Yes. Your, that's yeah, how you're that, understanding that... that, that uh, you, uh, are, uh, you are for the first time. So yes, it is my understanding that whatever interpretation... Okay, let me re re redraw the West Pin. Whatever your, uh, excuse me to say, um, your intellectual appreciation of uh, uh, party's constitution, it can never override Article 97. So are you saying that now that's they, what they, I'm your, your party's you. constitution is null and void based on your position now? that you rather revert to the Constitution? I have not said so. <laughs> I, I have not said so. I, I'm saying that the sun is shining. I don't want to light a lamp. You are wrong. The, the sun is the Constitution. Go to the Constitution. Whatever the party's Constitution is saying, you put whatever interpretation you want to put on. I'm saying that when you pay regard to Article 97, oh. people. Okay, well. I think your point point well made. Point point made. Related uh, to the election, it's, it's a big country. That I yes, it's a big country, but you made guys. your point. I'm sorry about Lamont, people conclude on the point that you're making. <coughs> Someone yeah. Tacha, thank you, but I know you is still doing the listening, but thank you. Yes. Uh -huh. So uh, let me put in this one statement and Good then point. go on to it. Understand this is the other part matter. Shiraj is about concluding their investigations into it. Perfect. So very soon we'll hear from Shiraj. We okay. hope it goes well, right? Uh huh. So now, as I stated earlier, this thing, we are debating. So there will be diversity of opinion. But if you look at it objectively, the speaker has not done anything contemptuous of uh, the Supreme Court decision. Now, when you say contempt, then it means that the person has done something willful, willful. What willful uh, conduct has a speaker engaged in? That is contemptuous. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court says his decision has been what? Suspended. So there is that, that stay of execution. So you are required to come into the chamber. Even before then, you he had had Honorable Red Order 216. Before this day, a business committee meeting was to be held. You didn't do so. You didn't present anything before parliament. So that is where the case will fall apart. So, the, so what happened there, that was not a sitting of parliament. That was not a sitting of parliament. Okay. They just got it. Because you didn't lay the prerequisites. Before there is a sitting, you do what? You get an order paper. Was there an order paper? Viewers, look at it. Look at it. Before there is a sitting, there has to be an order paper. Was there one? Was there one? If you, you, if you are counting one, two, three, if you don't count one, can you go to two? No. Ah, so this one is, uh, this is no uh, case at all. I told you that. Just keep focus. What they are doing is throwing red herrings. Let's continue debating. The more we debate, then the more they go back and try to gather the numbers. They don't have the numbers now. So they have to do something to get us talking. That's all that there is to this case. Once you don't have an order paper, what were you coming to do? And what does Honorable Attack Chiasi? He says he wasn't even aware of the caucus meeting. Api Akubi, very seasoned lawyer, says he wasn't aware. So at what point did you decide to organize a caucus meeting? That in this day and age, you don't have a, a, a WhatsApp platform involving all uh, the MPP MPs. Don't you have one where you would have put on that common platform that there is a caucus meeting? It's a rules. I mean, politicians sometimes just take us for fools. What meeting do you organize that somebody like Apia Kubi is not aware? What meeting do you organize that somebody like Honorable Atachi and your very good self, very uh, listen, distinguished lawyer, you said it, that you were not aware of that meeting? Is that a proper meeting? So there are just a few cock and bull stories have been cooked up mm -hmm. just to divert attention. Honorable Attaching, you 
stalwart like you, you were not invited to that meeting. What meeting can that be? Attach yeah, with all your weight, all the distinguished scholarship, law, everything. You were not invited. What meeting can that be? Apia could be also a lawyer, right? Not okay. invited. What caucus meeting can that be? It's a ruse. You just didn't have the numbers. Eat humble pie. I hate it when politicians try to okay. gas gaslight us. We can see you didn't have numbers. But did you? But did you also have the numbers? Some of the NDC members of parliament are trouble. I don't want to touch. I'll give you cocoa, cocoa. Now you see cocoa cost what? Eight cities. So I don't want to touch. I can you see this cocoa? Cocoa five cities. Milk three cities. Look at it. That's eight cities. We haven't talked about bread and the rest. I'll give you cocoa. Clearly, listen. I want to. But it doesn't mean. I don't see. I don't see how anybody will want to cite the speaker for contempt. If I were them, maybe if I want to test the first line of test. Is to have Who asked, said the speaker will be cited for contempt? Well, I that's why you are saying. On. So, so that's that what, is what you are saying. That's what Katie Hammond is. That's why your people are saying that they should have the first thing they should have done. Yes. Let's say, let's is say, to have say. asked. Is to have asked maybe one or two of the four to come into the chamber and let the speaker order the marshal to say that marshal walk those two out. Mm. Then you can then say that the speaker was disrespecting the, the orders from the court. But you did not do that. These four, none of them have entered the chamber since those things have been given. It is you, the MPP uh, uh, group, that have refused to come into the chamber. Mm -hmm. As to where we sit, Atajia should tell me which constitutional or standing order provision that talks about where we sit. So you come to the floor. If you feel like someone has taken your place, then you raise that matter on the floor. You have occupied the You raise, the come, come into the chamber. There's space. Just like you did on the midnight of 6th January. Come. Then okay. you raise the matter. When you raise that matter before Mr. Speaker, that based oh. on the orders of the Supreme Court, we think that we are in the majority. And if we are in the majority, we are supposed to be occupying this side of the house based on convention. But there are some other persons occupying there. So, Mr. Speaker, we are calling on you to order for the right thing to be done. You refuse to come to the chamber. Mm -hmm. You don't even come to do anything. You will call us for business. You don't have the numbers. You are not lying to Ghanaians that, and you were in this uh, caucus meeting, and you were in this, and you were that, and you are waiting for Speaker. Didn't you see to it? To order, waiting Didn't for... You see it? You're you waiting for Speaker to order people okay. to Nadasha, leave, come, to leave come where... To you. To leave, to, you. to leave yeah. where they Let's are before you come in. The but, speaker but, has not done anything that is contemptuous of what? But, the but, Supreme but, Court. But, Even though I disagree with Supreme but, Court but, trying but, to but, interfere but, in the process and procedure but, of parliament, the speaker has not done anything. If you want to say that maybe by your understanding that someone was sitting on your seats, then it is those who are sitting on your seat as you claim. If the okay. Supreme Court can show us any constitutional provision that says that the MPP side should sit where they are sitting, then they should come and cite those of us sitting there for contempt, or even our own standing orders. If they can show us any provision that says that that is where you sit, then they should come and cite us for contempt. Okay. There is no provision in the Constitution that talks about where a side sits. So have, come to the House. I have if you have thing. the numbers, come to the House. Okay. And let's, do, let's work there. But you don't have the numbers. Mr. Gamay, please, finally, before we go, quickly. And in, in the end, there has to be a truth or a solution to this. You don't see the, the solution within the remits of the law or, or, or the courts of the law for that matter. You want parliament to deal with this, but, but has parliament so far exhibited that, I mean, if I talk about parliament, let's say MPP, NDC caucus, sitting together with the speaker or and any other persons like yourself, to mediate this matter for an amicable solution? Honestly, I, uh, I will not say I'm disappointed, but the point is that because I foresaw that they will never on their own be able to collaborate mm -hmm. and, and, and come down uh, from, from high horses to be able to engage and have a conversation, a civilized conversation 
to enable them to resolve this matter on their own. Hence, I wrote to them, and I'm happy, as I mentioned earlier, that some of them have started reaching out to me. Mm -hmm. The leadership at the leadership level called me on the phone and sent me messages and saying that they are open to mediation. Even if the Supreme Court gave an order explicitly that, look, this is the way it is, and this is the final ruling, you need each other. You must collaborate. Parliament is a place for collaboration. If they fail, it's just like marriage. If uh, lawyer Pebbles, uh, and the wife are having uh, uh, you know problem, God forbid you shouldn't have, and they should go to court, what they are looking for is a letter of divorce or certificate of divorce. Even if the court gave an order that go back and stay together, there'll be no collaboration in the house. Mm -hmm. This is the same thing. Parliament need to collaborate. I've spent eight years there, and I do know the in and out uh, of it. And so let me be very clear. The way out is for them to agree voluntarily for a mediation process. If they cannot do it themselves, somebody with a mediation mindset right. will have to sit between them and help them out. Well, That's just the bottom and line. this is coming from the former member of parliament for the North Tongue constituency, correct? You served as an MP for North Tongue for two terms. Yes. Great. Austin Garment, it's now a labor expert and a former minister as well.